Alpha Centauri, our nearest star system, apparently sends objects in our direction. These microparticles are constantly entering our atmosphere. We just haven't noticed it yet. Can you imagine that pebbles from the Alpha Centauri system are lying in our stream beds, or that a harmless looking stone in the garden is in fact an extraterrestrial visitor? Scientists have now published an astonishing study for the first time about these interstellar visitors and their possible effects in our world. The latest research shows that material from the Alpha Centauri star system has already reached our solar system. The AC system is our closest neighbor and is just over four light years away. The system consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, which together form a double star pair, and Proxima Centauri, a dim red dwarf star. Not only is the entire system our galactic neighbor, but the AC system is also constantly moving towards us at 22 kilometers per second. This means that a huge star system is approaching at 79,000 kilometers per hour. Researchers suspect that these movements and interactions are causing material transfers between our solar system and the AC system. New research methods now offer unique opportunities to study the exchange of material between star systems. The newly published study estimates that potentially large amounts of material from the AC system arrive in our solar system. Specifically, the authors suspect that the materials accumulate predominantly in our Oort cloud. This mysterious cloud is located far outside the actual boundaries of our solar system. Until now, however, the Oort cloud was clearly attributed to our solar system. Now, researchers have come up with the idea that the cloud could also have formed through an exchange of materials with the Alpha Centauri system. In addition to comets of various sizes, the cloud probably contains up to a million particles ranging in size from tiny grains of dust or sand to objects over 100 meters in diameter. Due to their enormous distance from the sun and their wide distribution, observing and researching the objects in the Oort cloud is a challenge. Astronomers suspect that the Oort cloud could serve as a collecting ring for interstellar objects. The cloud captures the space floaters and binds them long before they can enter our solar system. This would be a great protection, because free-floating space rocks or objects can become a danger within the solar system. Larger interstellar objects, such as Oumuamua and Comet Borisov, have attracted a great deal of attention in recent years. These two are thought to be the first interstellar visitors to have penetrated into the interior of the solar system. In reality, they are probably the first that we have noticed. Researchers suspect that, in addition to these larger objects, Countless smaller objects enter the inner solar system every year and usually go unnoticed. The study showed that some material from Alpha Centauri most likely reaches our solar system all the time. Some of these objects could have a long journey behind them. Due to elliptical orbits, deflections, and the proper motion of the star systems and the galaxy, some of the objects may have traveled for up to 10 million years. To survive the journey, these particles must be larger than about 10 micrometers. Researchers estimate that about 10 of these Alpha Centauri particles currently enter the Earth's atmosphere as visible meteors. Meteors are smaller rock units that often burn up or fall to Earth as small rocks when they enter the Earth's atmosphere. It's a fascinating assumption that rock arrives here on our globe that has been traveling from the Alpha Centauri system for several million years. Researchers suspect that the material mixes with nature here as normal. It would be a stroke of luck to find such an Alpha Centauri meteor and identify it conclusively. It also raises the exciting question of how material from another solar system can affect our world. Researchers are unsure whether foreign rock and unknown minerals could have any influence on ecosystems. However, it's almost certain that the rock has not been contaminated by its long journey through space and is probably not radioactive to a worrying degree. 1,090,000 particles from the Alpha Centauri system. It's fascinating what researchers can find out with computer programs and simulations. The latest study shows that over a period of 110 million years, about 1,090,000 particles were ejected from Alpha Centauri. These particles were ejected in random directions and at different speeds. The particles leave the star system and then initially fly freely through the universe. Only a small fraction of these particles, about 0.03%, came close to our solar system. 
These simulations help scientists understand how material from other star systems can enter our solar system and what effects it could have. In summary, the research shows that a large amount of interstellar material from the Alpha Centauri system has reached our solar system and is sure to be there already. These are mostly smaller stones the size of pebbles or fist-sized lumps of rock. Although the probability of larger objects getting close to the sun is low, researchers simulated even the theoretical flight of such objects. They wanted to find out what dynamics prevail and whether the composition of star systems outside our own has an influence on our system. Oumuamua and Borisov, two interstellar visitors. It was a shock when an interstellar visitor of considerable size passed us by in 2017. Oumuamua, officially designated 1I-27U1, was the first confirmed interstellar object to pass through our solar system. It was discovered by the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii on October 19, 2017. Oumuamua had an unusual cigar-shaped form and measured about 800 meters in length and 80 meters in diameter. It moved through the solar system at a speed of about 87.3 kilometers per second on a hyperbolic orbit. The real shock, however, was that we only noticed the object after it had passed the Earth by a hair's breadth. Oumuamua was truly unusual. The first visitor from interstellar space, a strange shape, an almost impossible trajectory if we look at known physical parameters, and nobody could really explain what it was or where it came from. The trajectory only showed that Oumuamua came from the direction of the constellation Lyra, that it has probably been traveling for millions or even billions of years. The exact composition of Oumuamua is also still unclear today. The object showed no typical characteristics of a comet, such as a coma or a tail. However, it also behaved quite differently from an asteroid. Scientists have noticed that Oumuamua has experienced a slight acceleration that cannot be explained by gravity. This acceleration could have been caused by outgassing similar to comets. However, there are also theories that suggest that Oumuamua could have been an artificial object, possibly even a probe from an extraterrestrial civilization. To this day, Oumuamua remains one of the greatest mysteries in astronomy and space exploration. 2i slash Borisov made it easier for researchers. The object, discovered on August 30th, 2019 by a Russian amateur astronomer named Borisov himself, was clearly an interstellar comet. This made it the second confirmed interstellar object in our solar system. The orbit reconstruction showed an origin clearly outside the solar system. Although it remained unclear to Borisov where exactly it came from, the diameter was estimated to be 0.4 to 1 kilometer, making Borisov a rather small comet. It raced towards the sun at a speed of about 32 kilometers per second and reached its closest point to the sun on December 8, 2019. Unlike Oumuamua, Borisov behaved like a typical comet with a distinct coma and a tail of gas and dust. Spectral analyses showed a high concentration of carbon monoxide in Borisov's coma. The values far exceeded those of typical solar system comets, leading researchers to conclude that Borisov originated in a colder star system. Its color was typical of comets and its surface also consisted of typical ice and organic material. Images from the Hubble Space Telescope show that this comet split into two large fragments before leaving our solar system. It's not that unusual for comets to be destroyed or disintegrated during their journey to the center of the solar system. We know of cases of comets burning up or crashing into the sun when they came close to it. In 1994, the gravitational field of Jupiter crushed the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. Borisov's orbit revealed to researchers that it was never gravitationally bound to the sun and only passed through our solar system. Despite the best simulations, its origin remained unclear. It may have come from a star system in the immediate vicinity, or it may have been traveling in the galaxy for millions of years before being attracted by our sun. After its flyby of the sun, Borisov continued on its journey toward the constellation Telescopium. It will never enter our solar system again. It will remain safely on a trajectory that will possibly take it through interstellar space for millions of years to come. Can a comet or asteroid from the Alpha Centauri system hit us? It's considered almost certain that asteroids and comets not only exist in our solar system, but are widespread throughout the universe. 
The rocky fragments are relics from the formation of suns and planets, or they arise as debris from collisions. Further collisions or gravitational disturbances cause them to change their orbits, or they are thrown out of their original star system. Then they travel through space as interstellar objects. Since Alpha Centauri is our closest neighbor at only 4.37 light years away, the question arises, could a comet or asteroid from there hit the Earth one day? Sure, it's theoretically possible, and it's even possible that it has happened in the past. If Alpha Centauri has a comet system similar to our Oort cloud, collisions or close flybys of stars could hurl some of these objects into interstellar space. If one of these chunks happens to hit an orbit that takes it towards the solar system, it could eventually approach the Earth. The advantage of interstellar asteroids and comets is their high speed and the fact that their orbits are not bound to the gravity of the Sun. As a result, such objects move extremely fast and in very direct paths through our solar systems. You can imagine it as an arrow shooting in an almost direct path through a room. Our solar system's own asteroids and comets behave more like pinballs, pushed back and forth between planets by a gravitational gain. The first two officially confirmed interstellar objects, Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov, were extremely fast. They crossed our solar system at over 90,000 kilometers per hour, which sounds dangerous at first, but in reality makes a direct collision very unlikely. Click subscribe now and be there for every new video.